but that's all right. So I'm going to be waiting a little bit to get started um, and finish cooking or uh, cutting up some bacon and then I'll kind of explain what's going on. Um, yeah, I'm going to give it a couple minutes and see kind of um, if I can get some people in here. It makes me a little nervous, but we'll see. Let's see. And I'm going to try my best to respond to questions and things like that if I can, but we'll see. Hi, Paula Dean. Yeah, right. <laughs> Far from Paula Dean. So I'm going to try, um, we're going to, I'm going to be making, it's called Irish, um, pot roast stew. This is a new, uh, new thing for me. I'm a little nervous cause it's a new recipe for me. I've never tried it before. So I'm going to get to chopping up this bacon. You guys can watch that, I guess. Let's see. I guess I can bring it over here. I'll bring it over here and try to answer some questions. Thank you, Robert. That's very sweet of you. Um, let's see. I gotta put this bacon up. So give me just a second. <laughs> Exciting. Let me see. Uh, how are the boys? The boys are good. Make some of the summer in crock pot. Epic failure. No. So I actually read that you can do this in your crock pot. But um, so I got the idea off of um, what is it called? Uh, TikTok. I saw it on TikTok and then I Googled it. So I'd love to give the chick on TikTok the credit, but I honestly don't remember her name. And then when I Googled it, like all of the recipes seem to be the same. So I'm going to give you a little idea what it's about. Um, we're going to be using Guinness. I've got three carrots, three um, things of celery, one whole chopped onion, chicken broth, garlic, tomato paste, Gen uh, Guinness, which I may actually have a sip of that, and some pot roast and bacon. <laughs> Let's see. I actually use scissors when I cut my bacon. I have kitchen scissors. I use this for like meat and stuff. Make tacos. I absolutely love tacos. I actually make a really good like crock pot fajitas. Oh, hi, just talking. Hi, husbands. Let's see. So I'm going to, sorry, I wish I could like show you what I'm doing. Let me see if I can get this over here and I'll chop up some bacon. Ooh. So yeah, I use scissors when I cut up my bacon because it makes it easier to chop up. Because you need this bacon um, in like bacon bit size pieces. So I did all of my um, prep work before I started because I didn't want to sit here and have you all watch me chop up bacon and cut up things because that would have taken forever. Yeah, my husband, it's so funny because my husband didn't realize there's a difference between kitchen scissors and like scissors you use to cut other stuff open. It's like, dude, kitchen scissors are like for food. You literally cut food with them. It makes it so much easier. I cut, I trim my, the fat off chicken with these. And I am no chef. I just like to cook. So, I need to try new things. So, let's see here. And I also wash my hands a hundred times when I cook. Perfect. All right. All right.
All right, so I'm gonna start on medium to high heat. I'm actually gonna try to put it ooh, down here so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. I don't know if that's gonna do it. How's that look? Are we good? Sorry, I feel like, like I feel like I wish I could get it to where you could see all of it. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Sorry, I'm missing comments. Let's see. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, so we're gonna do medium to high heat and let this heat up a little bit. Cook my bacon first. I'm really, I, like, I'm really nervous. Justin was telling me just to not, just to be myself, but like, what? Oh, this thing won't stay up. There we go. Let's see if that works. You can kind of see what I'm doing. There we go. Oh, you can't really see the thing, but. Not really a cook, I would rather grill. Yeah, I like to cook. I like to try new recipes. And this is, a, by the way, this is a new recipe for me. I've never done this before. So this is a hit or miss. And the reason I'm making it today instead of while Justin is home is because I don't know what you know about stew, but it's always better the next day because it just cooks. It's It just... It just it's always better the next day so i'm gonna serve this actually with mashed potatoes that i will make tomorrow i'm gonna make mashed potatoes tomorrow when justin gets home and um i'll serve it with that let's see bacon guinness and beef who needs veggies hey look i love my veggies oh that's sweet all right come on Get warm. Now we're seeing some, there we go. All right. Now let's see. Uh, let's see. Thanks for the shout out, Wanda. again see if I got it see if I did it right some people my love some people all right, let's get this bacon cooking. No, the boys are not sleeping. So my mom came over to hang out with them upstairs until I got my live done because she was really excited for me to be able to do this today. It's new for me, so she wanted to help me out. No, Justin is not home, but that's okay. We got this bacon cooking, it looks really good. 
So Justin went live last night and surprised the crap out of me with my karaoke shenanigans. <laughs> that was fun. I love the smell of bacon. I do too. So you're gonna cook the bacon on medium high heat, which I'm sure you all know, because that's how you cook bacon. Actually, I cook bacon in my air fryer, so. Aw, oh, thank you, Robert. I was so embarrassed, and that's not my go-to. That was a new song for me, so that was exciting. Like, uh, it actually came like this. Yeah, I like the dark though, I like the dark one. Thank you. Any plans for Christmas Eve? Actually, Justin and I do have plans for Christmas Eve. So, um, kind of. We think we may um, go to all of our favorite um, little hole-in-the-wall bars that we like to sing karaoke at. And we're going to bless the bartenders with like a $50 tip or, and just put it in a card and give it to them. So, that's our plan for Christmas Eve because it's a, um, Christmas Eve is one of the biggest like holidays to like Oddly enough, go out uh, Christmas. I think it's Christmas Eve and uh, Thanksgiving. I don't know. We're, I think we may set up for the boys and do all that and then have Gigi come over and we may bless our local um, wait staff with some blessings this Christmas and then come home by 11 and get things ready and have a fun night with our Where's the little ones? They are upstairs. Drunk Missy, that's so sad. Sorry, I'm trying to see. Mm. By cooking? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Men like food, women like food. We all like food. Oh no, we're not, I don't, we're not gonna go out and drink. We're just gonna go out and like bless our like bar staff just as like a Merry Christmas. Our locals, cause we love them and they're so good to us and we like to sing karaoke and they always take care of us. So we wanna bless them this Christmas. Ooh. I would be good. Some cornbread. What was it? I think my grandmother, my grandmother um, puts mayonnaise in her cornbread, I think. So for those just joining, I am making what is called an Irish, um, an Irish beer beef stew, or it's kind of like a pot roast beef stew. Um... Right now, I'm just cooking up this bacon. I'm crisping it up so I can get the grease out because then I'm gonna, after I'm done cooking up the bacon, I'm gonna actually sear the roast. And what I'm doing is I'm adding it all to a stew pot. So I'm gonna add it all into this. Oh my God, it smells so good in here. I, I should probably turn my fan on, but I don't want to get too loud, so. With this phone, this <laughs> that's funny. See, can you see the bacon? Mmm, bacon. All right, I'm gonna let it cook just a little bit longer. I'm weird about bacon. I don't like it to get too, I don't like it too mushy, even though it is gonna cook in here, in this stew, so it'll still, let's be a little. Just a little bit longer. Oh, 
feel like everything with rice. I it probably would be. It, it, it's like you're supposed to serve it with a starch. So I'm going to serve it with mashed potatoes. I'm going to make mashed potatoes probably tomorrow, like afternoon. Um, and then I'll serve it with that. Knowing my mom, she'll probably... Because I have... So I'm going to... Once it's done, like once I'm done putting everything in the pot... I actually have to let it simmer for three hours, which I'm not gonna stay alive that long, but um, once it's done, I'll either post a video about it, um, or maybe tomorrow I'll have Justin put it in him on his video. All right, so now that I've got my bacon thoroughly cooked and I got all that grease, which I need, I'm gonna turn this down. Say something. I need to make you a moderator. Come on. Say something. <laughs> and I have my new earrings. Ooh, something. Oh, I love that you said actually something. Perfect. Um, my girl next door got me these for Christmas. I love her. She's so sweet. All right. So now I'm going to transfer all the bacon over to my pot over here. Okay. Thank you. I, you know what? The girl that made them, so um, the earrings came from my next door neighbor's uh, sister actually made them. She's got her own little Etsy shop and everything. I wish she would have given me a card. I told her to give me one, and she's like, oh, she doesn't have any cards. Like, bad business sense. She needs to give me some cards so I can rep her. Because these are too cute. I think I love them. All right. So now that that's out, I have seasoned my... So I'm going to go ahead and start. So I'm just going to sear this. Um, turn the heat back up. I'm only going to sear it because um, you don't want it cooked all the way through. You just want to sear it for about five minutes. I bought the pre chop. You can buy, buy your own and not how to it. So I have about, I got about two and a half pounds. Um, the recipe calls for about two and a half pounds. It's a little, it's almost three pounds actually. It's like a little over two and a half pounds. Cause my husband likes the meat. I'll tell you that. I'm gonna let that sear for a little bit. Cool. I'm gonna let that sear I'm gonna let it sear. Let's see. Yes, I will send you the link. I will I don't know if she's got it. I don't know. She, I heard she has an Etsy. Her uh, Amanda, my neighbor, says she has an Etsy, so I'll send it to you. I'll text it to you. my hands a little bit. So I also generously seasoned my beef with salt and pepper. Like I, I pre, like I let it sit and like sit in the salt and pepper because I, I like it to be, I like it to marinate a little bit. You making Irish stew? I am making Irish stew. I'm really excited about it. I'm a little nervous about it, but I'm excited about it. This is my first time making Irish stew, so. Also, I had plenty of bacon grease, but if you don't have enough bacon grease, um, which you should, um, you can add another oil to it if you need it. No, you don't want to burn it. No, you're right. But I am searing it for five minutes.
want a nice sear to it. I keep missing stuff. Did you take some of the fat out of the meat or left some in? I left it in. I mean, it was already trimmed when I bought it. I bought the already chopped stuff, but I would leave some in a little bit just because I like the fat. Yep, it's getting a nice sear. Just gotta wait a little bit longer and then I'll start Flipping it. Actually, I'm going to start flipping a couple pieces in the center now. That's what's the hottest. Jalopy Joe. He's not driving. He actually stopped for me so he could watch. We talked about it. Once I get a nice good sear on this, oh gosh. My dad just said, can mom bring some home? Yes, mommy can bring some home. Thanks for watching, dad. I love you. So, funny story about my dad. Sorry, dad, I'm going to call you out. So, I think it was not yesterday, but the day before yesterday, I uh, went to the post office to mail out some, I think it was prize winner stuff, or maybe a I can't remember what I was doing. I was at the post office. And I walk over to the front door and I see my dad. And I'm like, hey, dad. And of course, I had my mask on. So he was like, uh, he looked at me like, who is this lady? And I was like, um, hi, dad. He goes, oh. <laughs> he was like, I thought you kind of looked a little bit like my daughter. I'm like, yeah, because I am your daughter. <laughs> getting there. See, and this is why I did all my prep work earlier, because this takes a while. There might be a fleet of semi spoon for dinner now. I'm not making that much. <laughs> oh, hi, Sammy. Sammy's in here. I didn't know you watched. Ha, 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 ha. 
All right. All right. I don't want to cook it too much. I'm going to cook in the stew too. All right. Now I'm going to move this into my pot as well. Coffee mug. Oops. There we go. That's a little. So that sweated out a little more than I thought it would. So I'm gonna do some olive oil. And now we're gonna cook our onions. So these are like, um, cor like thick, you know, a little thicker than. Got like a bath in there. Ah. I'm like making a mess. I'm telling you. If I'm, what do you say? If I'm not Irish, what? What'd you say? Oh my God, Wanda, come on. You say if I'm not Irish, is it what? Does it make it, I can't read. Is it just regular food? No, because it's made with Irish beer. Too bad you're, you do too. How long does it take to be all done? So technically about, te it takes about four hours depending on like prep work and stuff because it has to stew and sit and simmer for about um, three hours. Because this isn't a stew that you have to thicken with like flour or anything, it'll thicken on its own. a little bit. I like DoorDash to do the cooking. Me too. <laughs> it's hard. I'm going to let you know something. It's hard to cook when you have three kids where none of them will eat the same thing. They all want something different. When I was growing up, 
my mama did a you eat what I cook or you don't eat. That's what my mama did. That's what Gigi did. And I have a palate, let me tell you. I love food. hard with, well, yeah, I can imagine. It's tough with kids in general. Wire mess ladder. No, I'll just make a mess. I don't care. I'll clean it up. <gasps> yeah, you can basically use um, any dark beer. Apparently, I'm gonna use Guinness because that's what this recipe called for. But you know, I'm just hoping it tastes good. So I'm I'm one of those people that will cook, and then I. I'm my own worst critic. I'm like, is it good? Is it good? Is it good? And my mom will be like, yeah, it's good. And I'm like, but is it really good? Chicken and cheese sticks. Let me tell you something. I swear my oldest is living off of peanut butter. I'm gonna go check on the kids for like two seconds because they were Gigi, but I wanna make sure. I'll be right back. Now I'm gonna add garlic. Can you turn it down a little bit because I don't wanna burn the garlic. Okay, so it says to do 14.9 ounces, which I think is like a cup and a half of Guinness. So I'm gonna throw that in there. These twist offs, I don't even know if I'm like. only 11 ounces though so that's yeah, 11.2 ounces so 
So apparently this isn't supposed to be so good because the alcohol has to burn out, so. Alright. Do like half of this, I guess. There we go. It's pretty good. this up to a alright see where the comments are coming if there are any ah. there we go yes there's still <laughs> put some more in never too much beer What's your favorite? Oh, what's AZ Cutter? Let's see. More beer. I have plenty of beer in there. Maybe a little bit. Maybe like a dash. I think I might drink the rest of this, though. <laughs> okay, so now that I've got this going, it's time to, like, basically move everything from here to here and not make a mess. <laughs> Let's try this out. Oh gosh. Are we gonna like turn this down? Oh, please don't. Oh my gosh. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay. All right. I'm really hoping that this isn't a fail, but we'll see. All right, so now we're gonna add some tomato paste, one fourth a cup of tomato paste, which I need to open. fourth a cup is because I kind of got a, like a decent idea like that looks like about one fourth a cup maybe a little bit more. I like tomato paste all right so we got one fourth cup of tomato paste and we're gonna add our carrots and our celery I used three of each and it's I think it's two and a half cups I did have to write that down two and a half cups of chicken sauce we're also going to bring this up to a boil, so. So two and a half cups. And the reason I use chicken stock, and I kind of, I did a lot of research on this. The reason I use chicken is because it said in the recipe that chicken can kind of, um, it can sort of balance out the beefiness of uh, two and a half of the, um, like the cooked beef, so. And I'm gonna salt it generously because I like salt. You can always add more salt. And then, I wonder if I have fresh cracked pepper. Let me see if I, sorry, excuse me. I think we have a pepper cracker thingy, but I don't know where it's at. Hmm. Sorry, y'all. Whatever, I'm gonna use just, Pepper. Let's see. Pepper to taste. I like pepper. So. And then we're going to add four little thyme leaves. We're going to do one, two, it's like a three, four. Maybe we'll add a little bit more. And we are going to mix all that up and bring it to a nice boil for a second. 
says to bring it to a boil. And then once it's to a boil, we're gonna bring the heat down and then let it simmer for three hours. Which is exciting. All right. So it doesn't look too good right now because it has to boil and cook down. But I will bring you back. Let's see. I'll just bring this over and knock beer over there. That's what's looking like. Whoa! I said I didn't want to knock beer over there. I'm going to knock it over. So that's what's looking like right now. I'm going to bring it to a boil. And then we're going to let it simmer for... for three hours and we will see what it looks like. And I'm sure Justin will let you all know what it tastes like, if it's good or not. Looks good though. I mean, it's gonna be good. Get me a nice boil, come on. I think that's pretty much it. I don't know how educational that was or informational it was, but it was fun. So I'm gonna just get to a good boil and then I'm gonna let it simmer. Neeps, what are you talking about? Do his best. See, that's what I told Justin. I said, I'll just make it the day you leave so then when you come home the next day, it'll be better. It's exactly what I told him. All right, so we got a good boil and I'm gonna bring it down to a simmer. And I'm basically gonna let this simmer. So I'm gonna let it simmer with the lid on for about two and a half hours. And then once it's been simmering for about two and a half hours, I'll take the lid off and I will let it simmer with the lid off to kind of let it um, thicken up. So that it says it should thicken up um, on its own. If it doesn't, then maybe I'll add some flour, I don't know. But let's see. Hopefully it's good. How are, how's the family doing? We are doing great. I love the name Kirian, that's a great name. I like the name Kirian. Justin said more, you did not say more beer again. Did not. It should be good. I hope it is good. Like, uh, by the way, if anyone has any recipes that like they want to recommend to me, email me at justchalkinglife at gmail.com because I love to try new stuff. Um, I'm obsessed with cooking. I'm not perfect at it, but I do like to do it. I like to try new stuff. So thank you. More karaoke, babe. So funny. I like to call it karaoke because I'm obsessed with singing. Not that I'm the best, but it's fun. I like to do things that make me happy, and cooking and singing make me happy. So, cooking is therapy. It really is. Cooking is like cooking and singing are therapy for me. It's so funny how for me music can make my day go from either like really good to really bad or from really bad to really good, depending on what song I'm listening to. It's so crazy how music can affect like your soul. It's crazy. I love music. So also, okay. So I, I don't, I was going to, it's funny cause I was going to go live. Um, let me get this out of the way. That's really distracting to me. I'm going to get this out of the way. Throw it away because I have to clean it. Like I just can't handle it. Okay, sorry about that. Um, what I was gonna talk about is kind of like, I'm not really sure where to take the channel. I, I'm obviously not gonna be um, cooking every live because that gets a little a little too repetitive. But um, let's see, chicken blog? Hmm. 
Um, but anyway, I just, I'm not really sure where to take the channel of my channel because um, I'm thinking I might do just a little bit of everything. I might do some cooking every now and then. I might even like go live and do my makeup one day just to kind of, I know a lot, but see, it's all in my opinion right now. I have a lot of Justin's viewers, so it's a lot of truckers and a lot of men. I'm not, you're not going to be interested in how I do my makeup. Um, I am also going to be getting a boxy charm soon, so I'll probably do a review on that. It's probably not going to be lean towards men or the trucking world. So I need the people who are watching right now to let me know what do you want to see from me so I know how to sort of cater to that because I love to kind of have my own thing going as well as have Justin's channel. So, so any uh, more tank, of course. <laughs> Tanks upstairs being crazy. Um, but yeah, just kind of let me know some suggestions and things like that so I can kind of get an idea on what you want to see. So more tank, yes. Everyone wants to see more tank. I should probably wonder, I wonder what the kids are doing. They're pro that room, so we had a visitor today. My friend Renee brought her son over and that room upstairs is destroyed. There are toys everywhere. It is destroyed. So I'm kind of afraid to take you up there, but they are up there wrestling, I can hear them. Yeah, this is already looking, I'm just saying, like this is already looking better. Like, I'm gonna set my little, Set a timer for two hours. I guess, can I do that on there? I guess I can. Maybe not. I'll set it on my phone. Anyway, what happened? I miss comments. I'm so like ADD. I'm like up, up and down. How about visiting local places? That's actually not a bad idea. I could seriously, I could gather the boys together and we could go to some local places and kind of show you guys around. That would actually be really neat. It's not a bad idea. Aw, oh, that's sweet, Tom, all of the boys. Yes, all of the, my, all my boys are perfect. They're so sweet, they're so good. They're, I have good boys. Try a separate channel just for cooking recipes. That's the thing, like, I'm not the best cook. I don't like, <laughs> that's my problem. I would love to do a cooking, I could probably call it Katie's Cooking Fails and there we go. Not saying it was a fail, but you know, I'm not the best cook, but it is fun. Poor Tiki, I know that poor dog. My kids, they love to beat that dog up. Do I have any suggestions for, for chicken? Me? Because I, I got a million suggestions for, for chicken. Like, the, the easiest thing to do with chicken is cook it in the crock pot and add stuff to it. Like, Google, like, crock pot chicken. That's what I do. I'm like, oh, I'll try this this week. Why not? Crack chicken is, like, the best, though. Like, if you do, well, there's a couple different recipes, but I do this one with Olive Garden dressing. It's literally just chicken breasts, Parmesan cheese, Olive Garden dressing and something else. I can't remember. I have, to, I have to Google it. And then you cook it for like four hours and then you shred it. And it's so cream cheese. And it is so good. Good morning from Australia. Good morning. Thanks for watching. All right. I need a chef hat. I do need a chef hat. Great pipes on the singing MSK. Hi, Australia. Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, hi from France. Oh, that's awesome. Peterbilt long nose. Yeah, I literally like Google, like I Google everything. I Google everything and I YouTube everything. I, if I wanna try a new recipe, I will straight up Google it or YouTube it. So that's like my favorite thing to do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish up this Guinness though, so. <laughs> it's pretty good. 
It's intense, characterful, and bold. The pure expression of our brewing legacy. Do blogs on things you like and about what Trucker Wife does. What a Trucker Wife does. That's my thing. I thought about doing a um of like a like a vlog on what I do, but literally my problem is is it's so hard to actually get the camera out while I'm doing everything because I'm so I'm normally so busy. I mean, I can't before I started this, I was gonna do it without my mom here. I was like, oh, I'll just, you know, I'll set the kids up with a movie. I'll you know, put, give Tank some snacks and I'll set them in the other room. And I literally set them in there and they were watching a movie. They were good. And I started chopping an onion and it was, I'm hungry. Can I have a snack? Mom, what are you doing? Can I have this? I got Tank in here screaming at me. Ah! I'm like, okay. So I call my mom. I'm like, Hey, I'm trying to do this live tonight. Is there any way you can come and just sit with the kids for a little bit? She's like, yeah, sure. No problem. I'm like, thanks mom. She gets food out of it. So it's kind of a win-win really. So but yeah, I think I'm gonna cut this thing out now. Um, it's been fun. And I really appreciate everybody for watching. Can't believe I have 50 people in here. That's crazy for me. You know that when we, I know, they do, kids have like a sixth sense. And not like a, I see dead people way. It's a, I know mom's busy, sixth sense. <laughs> you guys are, per Travis, we are far, far, far from perfect. Craig, hi, Craig. Oh, that's awesome. We got um, Fall Tech over a thousand subscribers. That's so great. And I did actually watch that video. I need to go back and rewatch it, but I, I, I skimmed it for a minute and I need to go back and watch it because I watched the part where he um, sized it and then I started to watch where he um, was etching in the, the name on the back of the holster, but then I, the kids, I got kids, kids are crazy. And anyone who's in here who sent me an email, um, if I haven't gotten back to you, I'm so sorry. I'm working on it. I promise. I got time to cook today. So. All right. Well, I feel like I should get out of here. Oh, you're welcome. Darlene, you're welcome. I'm so glad I got some ladies. I love my ladies. I love my men too, but I love my ladies that are in here. I really, hopefully I can get some more trucking wives in here. Guys, if you've got wives, please send them my way and tell them I want to start a trucking wife um, family of like our women and our fam, our girlfriends and our wives and stuff. So we can even get together and kind of have our own little click. So send your wives my way, please. And then this link, um, please hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, if, you know, you're watching, please subscribe. I really appreciate everybody. Um, I'll definitely give you an update on how it looks. I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and like show you where it's, it's already starting to look good. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah. It's only been, look at that, woo! I love it. Oh, I'm knocking over tomato paste. Tiki Torture Channel, that's so funny. What happened to the other little? Oh, so Cooper, I'm just, I got it. Y'all asking questions. So, all right, bye baby, I love you. Um, so Cooper, the other dog, the Chihuahua, he was, we don't have like, we're all, all near the park and he kept running out. And so the whole neighborhood was like, Whose chihuahua is this? Why does he keep getting out? Why does, it is, it's all the way down. It's on low. It's literally simmering. Promise, Tom, it is, it is simmering. <laughs> I'd show you, but it is, it's simmering. Um, but he kept getting out at the back. And so I was just like, mom, you gotta take Cooper back because he's, he just keeps getting out. I don't want him to get hurt. But the, like, it would be horrible if he got hit by a car or something bad happened to him, so. We just decided to keep him at my mom's house, but Tiki doesn't do that. Tiki doesn't run out to the to the street. He just goes and does his business and comes back in. So, but yeah. So, thank you everyone for watching. I'm a, I'm kind of embarrassed. It's it's kind of funny. Like Justin is so good on camera, and I'm just I'm so I feel like I'm awkward, and I don't ever know what to say. But I appreciate you guys for watching. I appreciate everything, and. Hope you enjoyed my Irish beef stew recipe that I got off of Google. <laughs> Bye, guys. How do I get out of here? <laughs>